someone you love is crying and coming to report what happened. I was having a conversation with a friend of mine some days ago that God just reminded me of that today. And um, we're talking and, and the person said, Amel, you, you could be very vindictive. Um, you could be very unforgiving. I think you, you could be very vindictive and unforgiving. If, if someone does something to you, you are not going to stop until you make them pay. And I turned and told them, if I make you pay, if you do something against me and I make you pay, it means I have taken matters in my own hands. God is going to back off. But if you do something wrong to me and I hand you over to God, <laughs> the worst thing that can happen to anyone is to be resisted and fought by God. Whenever that's why he says, vengeance is mine. Let me avenge you. If you try to revenge when people do you wrong, they you might not do as much as God would have if you um if you handed them over to God. Imagine your 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 little baby, your toddler, or maybe little teenage baby gets into a fight with someone and or someone um, um, you know hits them and they want to retaliate by hitting the person. The punch will not be as hard as if you went there and smacked that person yourself. That's how it is, even with God. When someone does something wrong to you and you take matters into your own hands to make them pay, it is never going to be as much as if you reported to God and God was the one avenging. He says, vengeance is mine. God, he knows when someone does something to you and you're crying and you go before God and you tell him, this person hurt me really bad. They did this to me. They did that. And they did that. God will not let it slide. He is going to act. And when God acts, they are going, they are going to wish you were the one that responded. So I told this friend. And the friend was like, yeah, it's true. I have seen you done that once. Like, yes, I say when someone hurts me, I cry to God. I don't go to talk to them or to fight with them. I just go and cry to God. And he takes over the battle and I just have my peace. Oh, the Lord will fight for me and I'm, I will hold my peace. That is how I like to fight my battles. I hand them over to God and I trust that he will do a great job at fighting for me. And if you're listening to me right now and you were hoping, you were trying to take matters into your hands, please don't. Hand it over to God. God can fight better. Did you receive this word with gladness? God bless you.